River vessels are commonly used for shipping goods if time is not an issue. But what about their emissions? Cargo vessels are considered a relatively green mode of transport. Compared to lorries, they produce less emissions. But road transport is modernizing rapidly. Vessels have to keep up to remain competitive. Here in Romania, a river navigation company that runs almost 500 vessels along the Danube is working together with a European research project to make ships greener. We are obliged to do this modernization because without, we are out of the market. Our vessel have had to fulfill all the new EU regulation concerning uh, air pollution, noises, noxes, and so on and so on. Increasingly strict regulation reflects efforts to fight climate change and improve air quality. Ship emissions can be treated similarly to diesel truck exhausts, but vessels are more diverse than vehicles, which makes modernization more complicated. When you look at inland vessels, maybe you have two, three vessels of the same type. So it's very difficult for the industry itself to do this dedicated research. And this is what we want to facilitate in this project, is to decrease pollutant emissions from vessels, but by supporting the industry and see if we can standardize the technology so that they will fit on all vessels. Replacing the engines is out of the question. A ship engine is made to run for 40 years or more. A good way to decrease emissions is to filter the exhausts to remove greenhouse gases, unburnt hydrocarbons and dust particles. The goal was to standardize it, to use standard uh, filters and standard catalysts. Uh, we aim for a cost reduction of 30%, which, we, which is a nice uh, goal which we think we will achieve as soon as this product will be introduced in the market. Uh, also on installation side, there's a lot of costs going to the shipyard to install the systems into the ships. There is also a lot of room for improvement. Another way to make ships greener and cheaper to operate is simply to burn less fuel. Researchers are using these hydrographical sensors to find out how to make the vessels more energy efficient. This instrument is composed of two sensors. One measures the vessel's speed, the other measures the depth. This data is sent by cable and then Wi-Fi to the bridge, where the information is digitalized and transmitted wirelessly to a centralized server located in Belgium. Information from ten vessels travelling along the Danube and two from the Rhine River is being collected as part of the experiment. Analysis of the data is expected to allow navigation companies to optimize the speed of their vessels and also provide valuable knowledge on how riverbeds evolve. The industry is definitely interested in this since approximately 30% of their transport costs is related to fuel costs. So it's besides uh, being environmentally friendly, it's their also economic benefit to choose the best uh, uh, track on the ferry and choose the best speed which can result in fuel efficiency. It's hoped research like this will help make vessels cleaner and cheaper and provide an attractive alternative to lorries, producing less traffic and less pollution.